Hey guys, welcome back to the iPad Showcase, where we give you a tour of the apps and accessories for the iPad before you drop your hard-earned cash. Today, we'll be taking a look at Pages, a word processor for the iPad. All right, so let's take a look. Well, at our desktop screen, we can go ahead and tap the Pages icon and it'll start up pages. We'll be able to see our documents view and be able to manage our documents from here. We can hold down, press and hold down on one of the documents till it starts to shake in the Apple-esque way. And then we can drag that document over another document and we can create a folder. In addition, in the upper left-hand corner, we have the trash can icon. So if we want to select the document, we can hit the trash can icon. We'll be presented with a delete option. You can choose delete, and that'll delete that document. Press and hold again. We have the plus icon right there, which basically allows us to duplicate a document. And there we go. And then we'll delete that document that we just duplicated. And we also have the share document. So we can share documents directly from there, from the documents manager. Send via email, iWork, iTunes, iDisk, WebDAV, depending on if you have an account for any one of those. When we're all done in the upper right corner we can tap the done button all right let me pull my documents back out all right now the same thing on the documents manager if we swipe down we'll then get sort options so we can sort by the date or we can sort by the name. And you'll notice your sort changes. All right, and that's the Documents Manager. So in order to create a new document, in the upper right-hand corner, upper left-hand corner, you'll see the plus button right there. Click on plus, and then we can choose to either copy from our iTunes account or iDisk or WebDAV, but in this case, we're gonna choose to create a new document. And in creating the new document, we can choose a template. And there's many to choose from. I just chose, uh, I think it was classic resume. But there's many documents to choose from. You can choose a flyer, recipe, visual reports. And once you choose the document, you're also able to edit the document as well. So in this case, we're gonna go into go ahead and choose a blank document let's do that and then we are presented with the blank screen there if we want to make our keyboard disappear we can hit the keyboard go away button lower right hand corner all right okay so we're presented with our blank screen here so let's go ahead and just start uh, typing so in this case, we'll create a little thank you letter. My family and I went to Universal Studios, so I think I'll write a thank you letter to uh, the Universal Studios team. Thank you. All right, thank you. And then what we'll do is, since I've already got the document prepared as far as the body of the text, I'm gonna go and copy that now. So I'm gonna go to Documents going to scratch copy I'm going to triple tap to select the whole document and that selects that whole paragraph I'm going to copy go back to documents and go to my blank two all right if we tap with two fingers we'll bring our paste button up can go ahead and tap that and there paste it then I'll add my final thanks. All 
All right. Thanks, Gerald. And there we go. All right. So I've got a little bit of an issue here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start to apply some formatting. So first thing Pages lets you do is you can triple tap to select all. And in this case, we've got some options on the top bar. We looked at the documents because we went to back to documents right next to that is undo. And that's right here, which allows us to undo and redo. And then we have the info button, which is on the upper right hand side. And we have the insert objects button, which allows us to insert images, tables, charts, or shapes. There's quite a few to choose from. Okay, and next we have the tools, which allows us to share, find, document setup settings. And then we have the full screen icon, which allows us to, uh, which allows us to take it into full screen mode. All right, in this case, we're gonna triple tap our thank you. And tap info, and we're gonna go ahead and choose title. And then we're gonna center it. And then we're going to choose 36 point Helvetica, the top, which will take us into the size and the color. And I think what we're going to do is change that to red, ah, change it to blue, bluish color. All right. Thank you. And you know what we'll do? I think we'll also insert a photo. Let's go ahead and tap the objects. And we're going to choose media and insert your photo. All right, but that photo is pretty large. So let's click on the photo and we get the little sizing handles there. And we can click on one and just start to resize it. And these guys made it really easy. We can tap on the image and drag it around to where we want it. We have the little guides that pop up, put it in the center. We have the center guide that pops up. It's pretty cool the way they do that. All right, so we've got our object there. You know, if we wanted to, we could insert a chart as well. And the same thing, we just drag it and then drag it around. Same thing. I will right, we'll delete that chart and we'll add our photo right here. If we tap on our photo and also hit the info, that'll bring up some options here that we can choose to modify our photo. Choose a matte frame, we'll choose different frames or styling options for the photo. I think we'll go ahead and choose the reflection. All right, and that looks pretty good, so thank you. And I think we've got everything there. All right, the documents view allows you to automatically switch between other documents, and it automatically saves your document as you are going. And I've got another document already prepared down here, which had all of our formatting and everything within it. So you can see the finished letter. And then when we're ready to actually test certain things or check spelling, we can double click on a word and hit the right arrow and hit the define button. Now let's you define our word in line. So it has a little built-in dictionary, which is pretty cool. You know, also, if we use two fingers on our image and hold down two fingers on our image, we can rotate our image as well. All right, pretty nice. Well, when you're finished with your document, you can go ahead and hit the 
tools icon up there and then we can hit share and print and then we could choose to email the document print share via iWork send to iTunes copy to iDisk go ahead and choose email document and then we'll be presented with three options we can choose to leave it in pages native format we can choose to send it as a PDF or we can choose to send it as a word document so pages definitely makes this very very easy for us So you can purchase pages in the app store for $9.99 and it is well worth the price. As Peter Myers said, you are getting a forehead smackingly easy way to mingle words and pictures. All right, guys, that's it for our app tour. Thanks for watching and subscribe.